In this tutorial, I want to show you one of the workflows when creating your subtitles within Final Cut Pro 7. First, you need to create an empty sequence and the name of the sequence must be called Subtitles. Place your final movie in this sequence in the same way as what I have here. The next step is to create markers with your subtitles text in the timeline. Be careful not to create markers in the video clip. If you don't know how to create markers, let me show you how to do that. First, make sure that you are not selecting the video clip and that you have your timeline indicator in the position where you want to create one marker. Press the letter M in your keyboard and the marker should be created. If you press the letter M again, you can edit the contents of the marker. Here you can enter the text and the duration if you want. When you are finished editing your marker, simply press OK to accept the changes. If you need to delete a marker, make sure that the timeline indicator is on top of the marker that you want to delete and press the letter M again. And then press the delete button. As you can see, I have already placed several markers in the timeline and I can go to the previous marker by pressing the shift key on my keyboard while I press the arrow up or arrow down keys, so that the timeline indicator jumps from marker to marker. One other option that can help when using markers is by enabling the overlays in the canvas window. That way I can see the contents of every marker when the timeline indicator is positioned on top of a marker. Creating subtitles is a manual labor and you need to have the transcript already typed and ready to use unless you have your own service provider do it for you. Since I am doing it on my own, I am going to continue entering the markers for the rest of the clip and I already have my transcript on a text file. For this tutorial, I am going to move and arrange these windows so that I can see the text file and the application at the same time in the same monitor. The process is as simple as a copy and paste procedure. Select the next subtitle text and copy it. Now go back to Final Cut Pro 7 and let's enable the audio waveform that can be very helpful to place the markers more accurately. Hit the spacebar to play the video clip and to identify where the next subtitle starts. Place the timeline indicator to the beginning of the dialog and make a new marker by pressing the letter M in your keyboard. Press M again to edit the marker. Press the command V keyboard combination to paste the data we just copied and it should overwrite the text in the name of the marker. Press OK to accept and we just have created a subtitle standard marker. Continue doing the same process for the following subtitles until you are finished. The standard markers will use an automatic duration that we can set when the data is imported back into the subtitles plugin. However, there are times when you want to have the precise control over the duration of a subtitle. To do that, position the timeline indicator on top of the marker that you want to edit and press M to access the edit window of the marker. Type the duration in timecode format for the marker and click OK to accept. The marker shows a color line indicating the length of the duration I just entered and this will also be the duration of my subtitle. It is recommended that the exact duration be applied to subtitles that contain a lot of text to avoid probable overlapping, but you can export the data as is right now and then make the adjustments later if it becomes necessary. To export the marker data, go to the File menu and select the Export sub-menu and then select the option to export the markers list as text. Save the file and use the default name provided. Now click and select the video and to apply the subtitles filter, go to the Effects menu and select the Video Filter sub-menu and look for the Sugar Effects subtitles and select the Subtitles filter. Double click on the video to access the filters parameters in the Filters tab. Click on the Import File button of the text parameter and navigate to the location where you saved the exported data. Click and select the file and press the Import button. Now go to the Main Setup section to make sure that we are selecting the correct format. Make sure that the Markers Final Cut Pro 703 format option is selected. By default, the filter shows the information box on top of the video. Turn it off 
on the parameters and go to the text settings section where you can make changes to the look and size of the subtitles text. If you notice that some of the subtitles are overlapping, that's because the markers are standard markers without any duration and the automatic duration of the filter needs to be adjusted. Open up the Timing Offset section to adjust the auto duration from the default of 35 down to about 20. If you want to add precise timing to a standard marker, move your timeline indicator to where the marker is and make sure that your video clip is not selected and press M to edit the marker. Add the duration that you need and press OK to accept. If the duration you enter was too long or too short, you can press M again to edit the duration one more time until you are satisfied. You must export the file again and replace the previous file. Go back to the filter and click Import the text again to replace the data. And the subtitle in question should have the correct duration. Finally, to fine-tune the position of your markers, press the command key and with your mouse select the marker that you want to adjust and move it to the desired location in the timeline. When finished, do the export and import procedure once again. Thank you for watching. For more plugins, transitions or effects from SugarFX, please visit our website at sugareffects.tv.